I've been at NAPC for about 10 years. Um, I just graduated high school and my plans for this next season of life is that I will be joining Youth with a Mission, aka YWAM, which is a mission trip that I'll be going on for six months. I heard about YWAM through my friend Elise. Um, Elise is a huge part of my testimony. I met Elise through my job at Wesley Woods. Before her, I struggled with friendships a lot. I often felt like isolated. It seems like everyone else is going the other way and I'm like swimming against the current and I'm like, why is there no one else like doing this? Like I feel so like like an outcast sort of, but Elise just proved to me that there are people out there that want to pursue the Lord and chase after Him and live their life for Him. I applied for Youth of the Mission for the winter DTS and I expected to get in. I was kind of confident that I was going to get in. I was like, of course, the, why, like, why else would I not get in? Like, the Lord obviously wants me here. But I got rejected, and I remember being so heartbroken over it and confused and frustrated um, towards God, just feeling discouraged and wondering, like, is He really there? Like, why would He not want me to go here? I was so confident. I really, really started to grow after I didn't get accepted. I just got involved more in church, which definitely was a huge like part of me, my growth. I remember the first time I met Lucy was my mom was like definitely just like you should talk to Lucy because she was like brand new at our church and she was like you should go hang out with her so I like we went out and like went to like an open mic and just watched people sing it was really cool and the Lord placed Lucy in my life for that reason and so I started singing with Lucy more and I was so freaked out because I had never really sang or played in front of anyone I like cried too because I was so like scared and it's just been really cool to see how the Lord has grown me since that point. And Lucy's been a big like point for me in like being bold in my faith. And despite me being like more introverted and like keeping to myself, like the Lord like was like, no, I want to use you to like say my name and like proclaim my name and what I've done for your life. And just like step out of your comfort zone a little bit. And Lucy definitely pushed me. So my involvement in youth group was originally like reluctant. Like once the Lord started like opening my heart and like giving me the confidence and courage to be bold, I started creating like friendships at youth group and like the Lord was the one that kind of had me like, had like a heart change and I was like, okay, like this is awesome. Like if I think about it, like there are a bunch of kids showing up on a Sunday night during the weekend that want to worship and learn about Jesus and just have that community and like that's when youth group became something that was like really really important to me and um, I became I was like in charge of like worship for youth groups so I would like help I would usually lead with Lucy or the other members of the youth band and we would just lead them in worship and it was just cool to see like a bunch of high schoolers and middle schoolers like praising God and not feeling like awkward or weird or feeling they could just be themselves was something that was like really awesome. Fellowship is very important when it comes to growth. Like you need to be involved and plugged into a church and just with believers in general because they're the ones that are gonna pray for you and build you up and encourage you and help you push through those seasons of life where you're just like stuck and you feel like you can't keep going. I was involved in small groups over this past season. I was with Lucy and Isabella for one, and we meet pretty much every week. And Lucy invited me to Bible study at the women's group. And it was just really awesome because they are an example of like who I want to be like when I grow up. Like I want to be pursuing Jesus like they do. And it was just cool to see, despite like our age gap, like we could learn things from each other. Like they could learn from me, which I wasn't expecting. And I could learn from them and it was just, we're all brothers and sisters in Christ and age isn't a factor of like who you can be with and hang out with and talk to and I just was definitely discipled a lot and poured out into and I needed that. It's okay to be bold sometimes and take a step of faith because even if like you take like a tiny step like the Lord will carry you like the rest of the way and it's really rewarding once you just give up your sin. Like, if you are putting your faith and trust in Jesus and really trusting that He will get you through whatever you're struggling with, like, He will get you through it and you will see the light on the other side. And it's really rewarding, like, once you finally take that step.